So the question is asking us to do the regression. And uh, because my sheet here has very many items that have been worked on, I want us to copy this data. We copy this data. Control all, then uh, control copy. Then we open a new sheet. Let's open a new sheet here. Then control V. We open. Uh, new sheet there. When you open the new sheet, we have our data now here. We have our data. So you go to the data tab, this one. You click data analysis. Then we have regression. We have regression. Uh, then you click OK. So for the data, for the input Y ridge, for the input Y ridge, we come and select from here all the way up to here. So we select that way, enter. We come to this one for X, we do the same. These ones here, all the way up to here. All the way. So you enter. <clears throat> then, because we have uh, selected the names here, because you have selected the names, we shall keep the labels checked. We also require to have uh, the confidence level 95%. Now, this constant being zero, you don't select it. If you select it, your value of A will be zero, which is not necessarily true, which is not necessarily true. So uh, you just leave it unchecked. Then for the output range here, you come and specify where you want your values to be. Because we have a brand new sheet, I want us to put them here. I want us to put them there. You can as well decide to take them to the new sheet or to the new workbook, wherever. These residuals, we don't need them. So we just click OK. So are we all there? Yes. Okay, Vera? Yes. Corinne? Yes, Malim. Good. So we can expand here, Kidogo, due to one of the names. Yeah. Even this one, we can expand Kidogo. Even this one, we can expand Kidogo. Which other one do I require? This one can also be expanded a bit. This one can be expanded a bit. This one can be expanded a bit. And this one as well. Okay, so if uh, we go back, if we go back to our question number 23. They wanted us to get the, <clears throat> the regression statistics, the ANOVA, we have it, and the intercept with the details. So we have them there. <clears throat> Then we are told to prepare the schedule that shows the actual cost, the predicted cost, and the lower and the upper boundaries. Then we prepare a chart. So let's go to our sheets. When we come to our sheets, when we come to our sheets, uh, Uh, 
these values, you can choose either to label them or you can leave them. If you choose to label, if you choose to interpret, eh? if you choose to interpret, eh? interpretation, interpretation is that <clears throat> you have the fixed costs, the fixed costs uh, is this value is equals to this one. You enter there as a fixed cost, then variable cost per unit. Variable cost per unit. Variable cost per unit. Uh, <clears throat> it is equals to this one. And because they want us to have scenarios, eh, you can tell us this is the base. Then you can come here and give us the, they have started with the lower limit, the lower limit. Then you go to upper limit. Aha, uh -huh. you do the same thing. Equals, the lower limit is this one. You enter there. Uh, this is equals to this one, you enter. Then the upper limit here equals to this one, you enter. The lower lim the upper limit is this one. So this is uh, upper limit. Okay, so this one I can expand Kidogo. And these ones, I can make them bold. Okay. <clears throat> so, if you want to give the equation, the equation, uh, it is y is equals to a, plus bx, that's the format of the equation. And maybe if you want to specify, you can come back here for the fixed costs. For the fixed costs, you put into brackets, this is our A. Uh, then for the variable costs, you come here, you put into brackets, that is our B that way so now uh, we were told to predict the costs so we are going to pick uh, these two columns pick these two values from here up to here you copy come and put them here Control V. Now these are our units, so into brackets X. Now this one is what the examiner is calling the actual cost. Actual production costs. That's actual production costs. Uh, this one, let me expand Kidogo. Uh, actual production costs. Uh, then we have the base forecast costs. Base. forecasts, costs or production costs, production costs. Then we have the lower limit.
forecasts. Production costs. Then we have the upper limit forecasts, production costs. Mm -hmm. These ones we can do the text wrap so that they don't appear to be. Is this not responding? I want to do the text wrap. The same case gear. The same case gear. Okay, this one is not agreeing. So if I pick all this, I want to format a bit. I make all of them bold. Then I make them to be on the upper side there. So are we together at that point? Ah, uh, Corins, are we together at that point? Yes, sir. Okay, I believe the others were okay. <clears throat> there was nothing much I was doing, it was just formatting where we are going to put the answers. Uh, so we want to forecast, and we are going to use this equation. We already know the value of A and the value of B. So this is how you go about it. You say equals, we are going to take this value, the fixed cost, and this one will remain constant. So you, you lock it. So you press F4. You press F4. Then you say plus the variable cost here, which is also going to remain constant. You lock it, F4. Times the number of units here. These ones will be changing, so you don't need to rock. Then you press enter. When you press enter, you can come here and double click to autofill. I hope we are together. I'm just doing a modification of my fonts, which I believe you know how to go about it so that they appear. I don't know why this one is refusing to autofill, but I can also reduce, I can choose to reduce the size there. Okay, let's come to this one. The lower limit. The lower limit, we still do the same thing. We still do the same thing. You say equals, you take now this value of the lower limit A, you lock it, F4. You say plus, you take the variable costs, you lock it. Then you multiply by the number of units here. You press enter. Then you either drag downwards or you double click here to have the various fields. You come and done the same rhythm here. You say equals uh, this upper limit here, you lock it. 
then you say plus this variable cost per unit, you lock it. Then you say multiplied by the number of units here, you enter. Then you come here and, uh, sorry, you come here and, uh, sorry, my mouse is misguiding me. So I enter. I don't want the formula. I just wanted to, to allow me to e. Good. So you just double click. Then the examiner had told us to insert the graph. To insert the graph. So, so if you're told to insert the graph, you come, you can click anywhere, you control A. Sorry. I want to select all that data that way. Click anywhere you, because my mouse is disturbing me. So we have highlighted the data. Then you come here to insert. You come to insert. Uh, you pick the recommended chart here. So you can see the Excel has already recommended this one or and this one, this one. But myself, I would prefer this one. Let's choose this one, the third one, this one. Hope you have seen my my mouse is moving faster than I want it. Can bring it down here. So this one I can expand. And expand here. Then you can come here and tell us uh, production costs. The title is uh, production costs. Then from there, if you want to do formatting, you can come here to chart elements. You can do come here to chart styles. You can come here and even filter. But I think that is good enough. So that is all that the examiner wanted for that question. Any concern? Vera, are you okay at that point? Yes, yes. Nora? Yes. Orange? Yes. Good. So I think now you have uh, you have seen how to to generate that. Uh, I don't think they will require you to interpret these ones. Uh, I don't think they will require, but in case they require, uh, you'll be able to respond appropriately, especially those who did advanced management accounting. Uh, these are things that we do in AMA. So if that is okay, I can see we are almost to be logged out. So I request that we log in again. Uh, we do another question. Let's log in again to do another question. 